Good day everyone and mabuhay Philippines. I'm one of the enthusiasts for renewable energy here in the Philippines. What I would like to share for today is our journey in building our small solar setup in our garage. Our system is a 1,200 watts, four panels of 300 watts each. The system is upgradable to a 1,600 watt system as my grid tie inverter can handle a peak power of 1.6 kilowatts. Stay with me here as I share to you the details of my setup. Let me show you the setup that I have for my garage. So let's uh, check it out. Oh, uh, before showing to you the setup that I have on top of my garage for my TV arrays, let me share to you the uh, modifications that I made for the reinforcement of uh, my garage using steel trusses. Uh, this is to ensure that it can withstand the weight of the solar panels installed uh, at the same time for safety reasons since I need to check you know, uh, the setup uh, from time to time. Oh, uh, we're almost here. So what you're seeing right now is the uh, PV arrays installed or mounted on top of my garage. And probably notice the uh, frame that I custom built uh, to support the solar panels. So I did check the uh, latitude of my area and uh, for me to make sure that the solar panels are facing uh, the sun uh, at its peak perpendicularly, I made that uh, frame to be angled around 26 degrees. Okay, so uh, we're here. So what you are seeing right now is the PVRE setup uh, that I have mounted or installed on top of my garage. This is a 1.2 kilowatt system or 1,200 watts. I have four panels of 300 watts each connected in series. And all of them are mounted in a custom built uh, frame tilted at around 26 degrees uh, facing south. So the panels are connected in series. Uh, we're in the uh, first panel. The positive is connected to the negative of the second panel. And the positive of the second panel is connected on the negative of the third panel. And the positive of the third panel is connected to the negative of the fourth panel and the last end or terminal is actually positive and the other end is actually negative and all of them are are mounted in, in series and connected to my grid tie uh, mounted or installed inside my garage so as i said you know uh, the panels are facing south uh, to ensure uh, getting a, a peak power uh, which is per perpendicular to the sun at its peak and this is just a very small setup of around 1.2 kilowatt but the system is upgradable to 1.6 as my grid tie system can handle around 1.6 kilowatts um, setup and that's the west side uh, we only have a lot of uh, shades coming from the tree but so far I have not seen any issues on that and that's the south side let's have a quick look of the panels installed inside my garage so what I'm using is a sofar mass grid tie inverter it's a 1.6 kilowatt system so from the PV arrays on top of my garage they are all connected the positive and negative terminal to a PV isolator and the PV isolator is connected to a DC breaker and the DC breaker is connected to the grid tie inverter and the grid tie inverter is responsible in converting the DC uh, into an AC output and the AC output is the ones on the right side and the AC output is then connected to an AC breaker and the AC breaker is uh, connected to the main line. So it's really very important for us to make sure that the system is actually connected and mounted properly and that is my limiter and that is my Wi-Fi. To give you a quick summary of the uh, setup, so from the PV arrays installed on top of the garage, 
they are connected into a PV isolator. From PV isolator, they are connected into a DC breaker. And the DC breaker, the positive and negative terminal, are connected into the positive and negative terminal of the uh, grid tie inverter. And the grid tie inverter converts the DC uh, electricity to uh, an AC output. And uh, from the AC output of the grid tie terminal, uh, it's actually connected to an AC breaker. And the AC breaker is directly connected to the main grid. So this is just a basic setup, uh, complete setup in terms of mounting a grid tie inverter. And let's check on the specifications of the uh, grid tie inverter. So the grid tie inverter has a DC input voltage of 450 volts, uh, running at around 90 to 240 volts at 10 amperes, and the AC is at uh, 230 volts at 7 amps. After installing your grid tie and activating the Wi-Fi feature of it, you can actually monitor uh, the power and energy generated by clicking on your uh, web browser um, and then type in www.solarmantv.com and then click on the uh, portal. Then from here, from the portal page, you need to input your email address that uh, you actually used uh, during the setup and then input your password okay and then after which uh, you'll be able to see all the uh, information that you need to know about the uh, current and uh, past performances of your beta inverter so after logging in you use the main portal uh, you'll be able to see the graph uh, where you will be able to see the uh, power generated per interval and you can actually select you know what time of the day and at the same time uh, how much power that the grid tie and the solar panel generated for that period of time you have also the real-time access and you'll be able to see the performance of each in terms of voltage and amperages and uh, what's important here is that you'll be able to check on browse on the history and at the same time um, the other you know alerts and notifications and the reports that you can actually extract and check on and uh, you know um, revisit if there's any problem and that's basically the overall summary that they have and that itself is uh, something that you can actually check on by online well that's all I can share for now I will continue to provide updates on our journey to renewable energy using solar and post them here if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to click the like and subscribe button below. Good day to everyone and Mabuhay Philippines!